Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming to you from a snow-covered backyard. I was going to do my year in review on New Year's Eve. I promised I would, but I didn't do that. I hate to break promises, and I apologize for that. Truth is, I had a bout of bronchitis, and didn't want to do a video till I was well enough, and still have some leftovers, but... I'm doing them fine now, so here are my thoughts on 2021. And I'll just get this out of the way right off the bat. More frustrated than ever with Major League Baseball, as you know. Don't like the lingering lockout. Don't like the expanded playoff they want to put in. And this year marked the, 2021 that is, marked the first year non, that wasn't cut off by a pandemic. That was without 40 minor league teams that Major League Baseball cut at the end of 2020. A great way to alienate fans and burn bridges with executives helping minor leaguers become major leaguers. And I understand there are much bigger issues as well that I will address. Like a pandemic that is still alive and well in this country and throughout the globe. Division continues to be the topic of the day in this country next to the pandemic still stronger than ever division is unfortunately and shootings still common in this country very sadly I think about the Boulder community about 45 minutes to an hour from where I live dealt with a mass shooting at a grocery store March 22nd that left 10 people dead and then on the next to last day of 2021 a freaky wildfire that has destroyed over a thousand homes, or at least damaged them. It's destroyed a few businesses. There's been one confirmed fatality from that as of this recording. I mean, 2021 in a lot of ways was a very difficult year. But as my friend Bill Rogan liked to do on his radio show a few years ago, start things off a little down, then finish on, a, on an up. So I mentioned some of the good things that happened to me this year, like thanks to another friend, Ed Henderson, in part to another friend, Mr. Henderson. I do Rockies updates once a week during the baseball season for a radio station in Fort Collins. I do sports updates once a week year-round for a sister radio station in Greeley. Thanks to an, another friend of mine, Dakota Ridge Athletic Director Matt Heckel, I get to announce my first high school state championship, at least chess is sanctioned state championship, and that came in boys volleyball in June, an experience I'll certainly never forget. And then in the middle of August, I was given the opportunity to announce all of the volleyball matches and basketball games at Regis University. Yes, I'd filled in there before a few times, but didn't know that I'd ever get that full time. And then in the middle of August, it was offered to me, and I took advantage of it, and it's gone very well. I already have a fine relationship with the volleyball team and the coaches. The staff has been very, very good to me, very welcoming to me. I'm also getting along with the basketball teams. And one thing I'll never forget, an administrator for Regis... University telling me after the last volleyball match of the season he said everybody loves you keep doing what you're doing and that after he firmly shook my hand and that's advice that I have taken to heart and just a reminder that until somebody tells me otherwise to keep doing what I'm doing as long as everything's working So certainly some down spots in 2021, but some good spots as well to remember. And now entering 2022, I know you'd like me to make more predictions and say something will happen. Well, I don't have any idea what's going to happen, and I can't make those kind of predictions. I've had years, not just recently, but in the past that I thought would go very well and didn't. And so I can't get too high, I can't get too low. They can't predict what's going to happen in 2022. My goal is just to remain level-headed, do the best I can with what I have, and be prepared for whatever comes my way. 
That's the best way I can approach 2022, and I hope you guys that are watching approach it the same way, but as they see, you do you. I do want to thank all of you on who watch this channel and watch my videos, whether you're here in the U.S. or all over the globe. I do appreciate your support, and I look forward to more videos in the new year. Be it announcing gigs or possessions, whatever else I can find. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Happy 2022, everybody. Take care.